Vegas, and you know what? We have Miss Dolly Parton, hey, tribute artist Wendy Adams. So don't actually get confused on that. And I am so privileged to have Miss Wendy Adams on my show. She came all the way from LA in Hollywood. So, yes, Miss Adams, thank you. You look so fabulous. I love the way you look, even though when, uh, when I first actually met you, I'm like, you just mesmerize me like <laughs> i'm like sitting down out there and just listening to her like okay <laughs> i still have that video oh my god i'm gonna actually uh, uh, run that video because i still have your video on that Good. yeah but anyways we have you know there's a lot of interesting things that's going on with this woman's life she is a religious person in fact her husband is um is a minister yes right well we're gonna get him on uh, on the third seg on the fourth segment by the way but for now it's all about you because okay. there's a lot of things that i want to talk about um you said you've been singing since 11 year old yes yeah and uh what uh, brings you to um to be a dolly parton tribute artist well you know what it's really strange okay number one uh, we were doing the Country Music Awards one year here in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And I have entertained in Las Vegas many times, but not as Dolly Parton, mm -hmm. but as me. Okay. So anyway, I am sitting there with Kenny Rogers, and mm -hmm. we're sitting there at the music boards. And he says, Wendy, come with me. We're going to go backstage. So I go walk backstage, and Dolly Parton. She comes up to me, so she says, so you're the one they said looks like me. I says, no, you look like me. <laughs> And she says to me, she goes, where do you buy your wigs? I said, I don't. She said, that's your hair. And I said, yeah. And then she says, okay, did you, where did you have surgery? I said, I didn't. She said, she, I said, yeah. And then she says, okay, how old are you? So I had to tell her my age, and I had to say I look like her because she was older than me. <laughs> but that's when I started doing dog. Because no, I never, I'm serious. I was always just me. The only thing right now that, that, that's more like Dolly would be I, the, the mole on, on, that she has on her. Oh. And I put that on there for me. But other than that, <laughs> I go down the street, I walk in a, a grocery store, we're in Levi's or anything, and it's automatically Dolly Parton just walked in the door. <laughs> that's a, I love your eyes, blue eyes. Oh, thank I you. love it. I, your dress, I remember I told you when you walk into our studio, I'm like, I want that dress. Yeah. <laughs> I want, you know, I'm, I love sparkly dress and everything too. So well, this is a dolly dress. Oh, wow, beautiful. I have, when I do her, I do wear her clothes. And tomorrow I'm going to be doing a, a show with Travis Allen. Uh-huh. He's an Elvis impersonator y'all have here. Yeah, yes, yes. Anyway, and Travis and I are good friends. And so his, his uh, uh, manager called me up and said, we need a Dolly Parton. And he didn't realize it was me. <laughs> and I, he said, it's going to be in Vegas and all this. And I said, well, you know what? I'm going to be in Vegas. And he says, send me some pictures and a video. So I did. And he goes, OK, you you're go. hired. Yeah. <laughs> I started laughing. And I, so finally, I said, I have a question. I said, are you uh, Travis's daddy? He says, yeah. I said, Did you, have you told Travis that it's me and it's going to be there with him? And he said, uh, I tried to message him. He says, but he says, you'll get to see him Thursday. And I said, oh, yeah. He's going to be really surprised because I, I've, uh, number one, okay, uh, Elvis Presley and I were very good friends. In fact, I was one of his girlfriends. He did have many, yes. <laughs> but I was one of them. I was very lucky. And yes, you know what? To be a, to be a, a, a girlfriend, you know, it doesn't matter if you're the number one, number two, number three. You become a girlfriend with millions of beautiful women out there. To be one, I would I would take that place. I would take that place. <laughs> I met him through his uncle. I was never an Elvis fan. 
Uh huh. I was into country music. Yes, yes. I wasn't into rock and roll. My sister was. But they thought that um, Elvis is a country uh, singer. Yeah, he sings country too. Yes. Uh -huh. But it, what happened was that my sister, she was the one that really was an Elvis fan. Uh -huh. And I'm doing a show in Memphis, Tennessee uh -huh. as singing, me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Elvis's uncle, Fester, he came to the show. And he comes up to me and he says, after the show, he says, I'd like you to meet my nephew. And I said, okay. I normally didn't do things like that, but I was single. Uh -huh. I normally don't do things like that. And I said, well, okay. So as we're driving in the car, he says to me, he says, oh, by the way, my nephew is Elvis Presley. Wow. And I go, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that again? No, just kidding. <laughs> so we pull up at Phoenix Graceland. Uh -huh. And it's really cute is the fact that we go into the front, and I'm there in the foyer, uh -huh. and I'm standing there. And all of a sudden, Percy hits this gorgeous man. Aww. And he walks up to me and he says, so, he, I understand you're a country singer. And I said, yeah. And he said to me, he says, and your daddy was a preacher? And I said, yes. And we start talking about that. And oh my goodness, we become prayer partners for over a year. For a year, we were our prayer partners. That was in 1974. Uh -huh. In 1975, he come up to me and said, would you be my girlfriend? And I go, yeah. What, is, what was really cute is the fact that, that that's a, I had never, he had never kissed me or anything until then, okay? Uh -huh. So then he went to kiss me, you know, I went to kiss him back, and he pulls away. And he says, I want to teach you how to kiss the way I want to kiss. Oh my God. And I go, oh, okay. Have, so, you, have you ever come to one of his shows here in Vegas? You know what? I was here. Yes, I've been here. And uh, in fact, when he left, when, he, when, when Elvis was no longer with us, just before, that was in August of 77, uh, mm -hmm. and Elvis and I were together on my birthday, the 11th of August. Aww. And so we were together, mm -hmm. and he gave me the most beautiful set of pearls. And he, I found out those were his mother's pearls. And yes, I have him under lock and key. But yes, I, I heard that he is very generous. Um, I don't know if you know uh, one of the one of the butler. No, not butler. He is actually a director of um, kitchen yeah. at Westgate. Uh, met him every every time um, Elvis comes here. He take care of him. So they uh, they know uh, they know. They, they, they know each other so much. And yeah. Still, um, yeah, Mr. Mr. Dominic Parisi, you're going to be on the show. You know that. Um, yeah, Dominic is his name. Oh, so he yes. wrote a book. He wrote a book about Westgate and every performer who came to, who came to uh, Westgate Las Vegas because it was International Hotel. Oh, it used to be. That's where Elvis used to. Yes. He used to sing here all the time. There yes. all the time. I'm staying there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's on the thirtieth floor. We're right? on the third floor. Yeah. Thir no, thirtieth floor is where Elvis's is floor. Sweet. Yeah. Yes. I, you know, I, I they, they're doing. I seen they're doing a tour there of uh, before yes. they stopped it. They're stop not it. doing it. And plus, uh, uh, what, who's the singer now? Perf that performer out there, Barry Manilow is Barry singing Manilow. right now. Okay, Barry. Uh, I've never met him. Mm -hmm. They're really private. I, I understand he's really. You know, I, I've listened to him. And I love his music, especially Sweet Caroline. You know, that's cool. Oh, is that his, his, one of his songs? Yeah. Sweet Caroline, okay. <laughs> uh, Elvis <laughs> sang his song too. Yes. Oh, yes. That's Sweet what I Caroline. remember. Yes. Sweet Caroline, that was very mental song. But anyway, what was so cool is the fact that uh, he gave me, I have, ah, and I don't take it off unless I have to. This is a TLC. The women, we got tender, loving care. Uh -huh. And the men got the taking care of business to TCP. And mine is numbered and signed. Uh -huh. And mine is number 13. And so I keep that with me all the time. It means a lot to me. Yes. And, you know, he has still, you know, there is still so many people out there that really love him and love what he stands yes. for. He, you know, people ask, was he a Christian? Yes, he was. 
I believe he is. Oh yes, yeah, yes, because, he is. Uh, okay. According to Dominic on the book, uh, if you guys go wanna actually get that book, you uh, Elvis fans, go get that book when you get to Westgate, uh, or you can order it online too. Is My Vegas Life by Dominic uh, Dominic Parisi. Uh, you can you can get closer to uh, Elvis. When I read that book. I felt like I'm closer to Elvis now. That's how I felt. That's why I was so excited to have you here. <laughs> there is another book that is uh, that is out. It's uh, one of Elvis's uh, bodyguards' uh, oh. girlfriend, mm -hmm. and her name is Shirley Du. Mm -hmm. And she wrote one called Mafia Princess uh -huh. because Elvis used to call her Mafia. I used to call her Princess. Oh. See, Elvis gave us all names. Yeah, oh yeah. We yeah. were all given names. Uh -huh. Mine was Angel. Automatically, I don't know why, but he did. But I, it seems like whenever I have met any of the big stars, like Ricky Nelson, he too called me Angel. Ricky Martin. Ricky Elson, Nelson. Uh, no, who's that? Who's Ricky that? I'm so Nelson. Sorry, yeah. He. They used to have a program called Alton Harriet, and Ricky was a very he was a singer. Oh, okay. He, he was. He. he yeah. Par pardon me. I'm, I grew up in the Philippines, so I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, was... look up Ricky Nelson. Uh, I was 14 years old when I met Ricky, mm -hmm. and uh, I was one of his girlfriends at 14. Now I didn't know what it meant to be a girlfriend. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so he used to come where I used to play in a, a place called Town Hall Party, mm -hmm. and I'd get up there and, and I'd sing. And everything. Then after, during the break, we would go outside, and Ricky would sit out there in his convertible, and he would have, uh, you know, his music going and stuff. And one day he said to me, you know, and he had never kissed me, and he said to me, he says, "Okay," he says, "Will you be my girlfriend?" I didn't know what that meant. And I said, "Okay." Well, I went home, and I wrote it in my diary. Uh -huh. He would, on my 16th birthday, uh -huh. he was going to give me my first kiss, so I put that in there. Lord and behold, my daddy found it. <laughs> and my daddy's a preacher, right? Dad, yeah. <laughs> and my daddy, so, and he, he, he went to see Ricky. And he told him, he said, you know, he said, uh, she's underage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you cannot. Uh, and he was 20, You cannot date this woman yet. He was 22 years old. Oh, yes. yes. So, anyway, I never got my kiss. But I got to work with Ricky as years went on. So how, how old are you when you get your first kiss? When I got my first kiss, I and who is it? <laughs> <laughs> when I got my first kiss, it, I was 16 years old. With? Later. Uh, <laughs> it was a, uh, a, a kid in my class. And actually, it wasn't really, you know, it was, it was really strange. is because uh, we were at a movies. Mm -hmm. Snuck off. <laughs> and we snuck off and we went to the movies and we're sitting there in the balcony and he reached over and kissed me. Oh my God. I started crying. I went home and I'm, I'm, I'm upset. And, and my mama said, what's wrong? And I says, mama, I think I'm pregnant. And she says, what? <laughs> and I, I didn't I think know. We, don't, we all think that no, way. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> and she said, what happened? And I said, Kiss me, a guy kissed me, mama. And she started laughing and so she gets my daddy to come in. And she tell and my dad he he couldn't keep a straight face. They started laughing. That's but really I funny. Didn't know. That's really funny because every young girl uh, when they you kiss you're like, Should I do I get pregnant when they kiss me? But I didn't I know. Yeah, yeah, I mean I, I really did. Innocent. Yeah. I come from a big family. Uh -huh. There's eight girls in our family and uh -huh. two boys. Yeah. And uh, my and older ne they never talked to you about it. No, my older my older sister, she uh, th uh, two years ago now she passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear and, that. And uh, she passed away, and then uh, I have my other sisters and and my brothers, and I am the only entertainer. You're the only entertainer. Yeah. Right? So yeah. you entertain them all. That's good. You need only one to, and two. You know. Two but you want to hear something? They, you know, what they say to me. What? They say you never worked. And I said I never what? They said you never work. I work every day, every I, single day. I, I told them. I said, and, and they said no. Well, they're really the board. Maybe. Yeah. They said you never. Work. I mean, they work in offices and stuff like that. And they said you. Know, That's I not said, the only work. <laughs> doing movies and stuff. Hey, I mean, you know what? I've been in several movies. I've, I've yeah. done TV. Yeah, but I'm, I'm with, I'm with this, one. 
Well, I was in, um, okay, I was in Seventh Heaven. Uh-huh. Seventh Heaven? Oh. oh. I sang on that one. You know what? That's what I was, was telling you before because I think I saw you on TV. That's why you mesmerized me when I first met you. Because I, I'm like, she looks familiar. I think I saw you on and several then, movies. I, I, and then I was in uh, Blaze of Glory with Will Ferrell and John Hare. Oh. It was a skating thing. Nice. I was in that one. I was in How I Met Your Mother. Uh-huh. All Die the hard. different ones. Die Hard, I was in Die Hard. <laughs> See, I, I know it, I knew it when I first, I met this lady last year on Magic Show. Hmm? Yeah, a Magic Show, I think, and, uh, oh, by the way, Chanel, our good friend Chanel, hi Chanel! Uh, she pops in and out on my shows uh, when she is watching. But yeah, I met you from Chanel, introduced to me, and I'm like, holy cow! I want to interview this woman because it's very interesting. She mesmerized me. She just she just sit down in there, and I'm like, can I take a video on this one? Because I'm just listening, like like uh, <laughs> she's like a storyteller, and then you're just like, <laughs> it's really amazing. Well, you know, um, that's really amazing. Uh, you know, all all your journey in life, journey in the movie industry, in the music industry is amazing. That's actually can. Uh, give a uh, really good words of advice before mm-hmm. we go to the fourth, se- you know, to the third segment. But we actually extended this segment because I'm just, um, it's just amazing. <laughs> uh, before we go on the last segment and be with uh, your um, your boyfriend, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, go ahead and say your uh, words of advice to people who, you know, who wanted to be on the music industry. You know, I mentioned Elvis Presley. Elvis. He never wanted to talk about himself. He always wanted to talk about you. And he told me something. He says, always remember who you are. Always remember where you came from. And always remember where you're going. Never lose track of your dreams. And I'm going to tell you all the same thing. Because if you have a dream, hold to it. I also have, we have, I, we have a TV program. You, yes, yes, for the, for the ministry. My gospel, yeah, yes. the ministry is called Precious Promises with David and Wendy Lynn Adams. And we're all over the world, too. Yes, and I'm going to talk about that in the uh, next segment. Okay. Yes, uh, I have all those uh, set. <laughs> but anyways, well, we will be right back on the fourth or on the last segment. Please stand by and stay tuned. You're going to learn more about the, uh, Ms. Uh, Adams and the boyfriend. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we will be right back, viewers. Thank you. Are you at a crossroads right. in your life?